All right, gonna do a little wrenching today. All right, a couple of simple jobs. Just wanna get it out of the way. Girls over here playing Sims. How come you can't put Oreo in there? This tool that I uh, broke off, this ball end, I use it for like prying stuff now. And throw it out. I'll show you guys the one real. This is the rear shock. Very nice. Springs are stiff. Jesus. I'm telling you, man, these springs are stiff. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Now you now this is a shock. This is a a complete shock. All right. I do have the reservoirs for it from Hot Racing. But I'm not going to use them yet. Oh, later on. This has the bladder system. Something that Losi discontinued. I found out from my subscriber. So... There will be no more bladders. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen now. Maybe they have the bleeding type system like the 4.0s, the eights. Or maybe they have uh, some sort of O-ring type of gasket now to bypass that bladder and don't know. Maybe you can upgrade to the 5B version. So there's gonna be, I'm sure, a few ways of doing things. Or if you like the bladder, Go to King Motors, Rovin, because they got them. All right. Low C, Horizon Hobbies made this continue it. But if you really like that bladder, they, they will have it. They, they won't discontinue it.
This this guy here is no joke. It's different than the copper ones. I tell you, man, what a shame. I still get comments all the time about these, this dynamite fit scale work stand from Horizon Hobbies. It's unfortunate they discontinued it. I really, really like it. The front shot. All right, no need to film the other two. I'm just gonna bang them out real quick. Just all this, I'm, they are, they are super stiff, man. So it really, I don't even think I, I need to put add that much more attention to it. But we'll see. If I have to, <clears throat> once everything is on there, we'll see. All right. So next thing I want to do, I want to secure these chassis braces underneath. All right. I want to do that. I want to put skid plates. So. Let's do that. And we're almost there. We're gonna. I'm almost ready for the skull pod motor, man. Okay, we're gonna use full force skid plates on on my X2 here. This Losi 5T platform. In the past, you've seen my Chrome Losi 5T. I've used the Jofers on there. This time, I'm gonna run with these, and we will see. This is gonna be my basher, so we're gonna beat the heck out of it. This is where I want to, this is the platform I want to try out my engines on. Uh, so we're going to have fun trying out different motors on here. And uh, it should be a blast. So let's see what happens. Um, so anyway, this is the part number. I've said it before in the past. All right. So, uh, I got it from my local hobby store, new local hobby store, Track Day Hobbies. L5T009. Okay. And here is the front, L5T011. It comes with hardware, all right, because these, these, you're gonna have to use the new hardware because it's extended the hardware because of the thickness of the skid plate. What a shame, man. Look at this beautiful under the chassis. What a shame. We will be putting trophies on that. We will. What a shame, but. All right, so. Well, let me take these out. I'm gonna have to remove these hardware. This, all right, I came stock with, with the X2. I'm gonna have to go with deeper ones, longer. That's it. You got extra hardware now. Save it. And I hope you guys got parts bins. Get, get parts bins. They're cheap. Save hardware. With time, you're going to accumulate more hardware. All right? So eventually, you will get hardware if you're starting out.
beautiful piece. Very nicely machined here. Hopefully, it'll protect this a little bit. Obviously, it's better than nothing. Let's Get stickers. Pay attention to the hardware they give you. All right, you got two that are longer than the other. See that? All right, these two are shorter than these. Again, get yourself a little magnetic tray. It's good to have. Shorter screw on the back. Just snug them and then torque them at the end. All right, I like to use this to hand torque. Very nice. We turn this into a T handle. Back is very nice as well. Ah, she's gonna look beautiful, man. That one, the one for the chassis brace, I'm gonna use Loctite. This is going into aluminum. All right, so this one here, this hole here, I had to use my own screw. I couldn't use the screw that came with the kit because I'm not running an X2 chassis brace, an upgraded chassis brace, and or or a low C chassis brace. Uh, first of all, low C chassis braces come plastic, but no upgraded chassis brace except for the Scopod chassis brace. So the Scopod is drilled out differently. See that? This is the chassis brace on, on, hold on. This is the chassis brace I'm running. Yes, I chromed it, it's a skull pot on it. All right, it's machined and milled by them, I guess, or whoever did it for them, the, who, that, that makes the 5T kit. <clears throat> All right, you can get a skull pot 62 Losi 5T kit ready to install, ready to, to put in. And this comes with the kit and this, Chassis brace is machined differently uh, than than others, than that one there, than all the others. So uh, we got to go with a shorter screw. Okay, I got the screw. Put some Loctite already. I already torqued these down. So it's coming out nice. And my skip plates. That's unfortunate. We're gonna have to throw some trophies on this, but I think trophies look even better. So I think we'll just improve it if we do wind up putting some trophies on here. Okay, here's a closer look.
everything is looking great. Just wanted to get these fingerprints off. <laughs> All right, so next job we're gonna do, FID Racing. It's parts number, FID 058. All right, I like FID, I do. You gotta give them credit. All right, I, I like that parts, they're really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, these are beautiful. These are way better than that, the full force ones I used on my 5T and on my MTXL that only lasted one hour. Very nice. All right, so I'll give you some hardware. Should be a simple thing. Damn, look at my stand over here, huh? I haven't seen it empty in a little bit. It's been a while, actually. So, it's the first time I uh, X2 on my bench, I think. <clears throat> so let's get this little easy job going on here. So, i give you hardware, all right? There's two screws, so I'm guessing that's the ones that are extended to go over here for your sway bar links. All right, I'm guessing this is gonna go here. Very nice. Get yourself an eight millimeter nut driver. All right, pop that sucker out. I'm gonna put that here. We're gonna remove this your ball end all right thanks Steve for the three millimeter ball end here all right boom pop that sucker out Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it. Let me just get this real quick. Look, these fish right here are going crazy. Cool. Over here bumping heads before. Very nice. All right. I'm gonna call it quits for today. It's getting there. Next up is engine. And I need my side panels. <clears throat> Next up, I may do the roll cage on the on the for the body <clears throat> i will not be using the body that came with this you get a clear body with this roller x2 that comes with all the goodies all right which I, now i have it on my low c5t it actually looks really good i'll take that down for you another day another time you can actually see all the chrome through yeah, that pit dog body. hydro doing his magic on uh some body panels i sent him and side rails 
and the, the radio tray, all that. <clears throat> so we'll wait till that comes. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for the side panels to come. That way I can put the, I can do the radio tray, I can run my wires, all that stuff without the engine being in the way. Yeah, otherwise I could probably slap the motor on. But uh, yeah, I think I'd rather have these panels on and uh, radio tray in and my servos. That might be the next thing.